Today, we're going to talk about ATs, also known as automatic thoughts. They're those destructive and um, unreasonably negative thoughts that you have that make things go from bad to worse. Avoiding ATs feels as impossible as avoiding red lights when you're running late. You're going to hit one or two, or every single light from your house to work on that morning that your report's due at 9 a.m. and your boss is already on the edge and you might just get fired and then get evicted and... See? Automatic thoughts can pop up and escalate as easy as that. Regardless of reality, ATs are the things that help you build a couple of red lights up to an Armageddon-scale catastrophe in a matter of seconds. Today on Wellcast, we're going to show you how to manage those harmful automatic thoughts with healthier, rational ones. And we're going to use our triple R exercise. You are going to record, rationalize, and replace your ATs. But first, how serious are ATs? A study at UCLA shows that people who got caught in cycles of automatic negative thinking became clinically depressed, self-critical, and less successful in both their work and personal lives. According to Dr. Glenn Scaraldi, these negative, disordered ATs fall into 13 categories, all of which take a toll on your mental health. Here are some of the categories. Assuming or mind reading. Like when you are sure someone is mad at you, even though you haven't spoken to them just because they walked in and didn't say hi. Shoulds, must, and oughts. Those are the insane demands that we make upon ourselves in our quest to be impossibly imperfect. The fairy tale fantasy. Where we demand an ideal for our life and decide that anything less than that ideal just isn't fair. Overgeneralizing. Nobody likes me. I always ruin everything. And finally, catastrophizing. When you take a little problem and turn it into a big, terrible, life-changing event. How do we stop ATs? Good question. And the shorter answer is we don't. But by being conscious of the fact that we're having them and working to replace them with rational thoughts, we can keep them from endangering our mental health. And that is today's exercise. All right, everybody, take out your Wellcast journal. It's time to learn the three R's. Step one, record an upsetting event. When something upsetting happens during the day, describe it in your Wellcast journal and record it in excruciating, painful detail. For example, today I found out that I got a C on my midterm. Step two, rationalize. Now it's time to think about the automatic thoughts associated with the event. Pause and print this chart. In column one, write down each AT you had about the upsetting event. For example, I am never going to graduate. In the second column, try and label each distortion. Some ATs might be rational, but most won't be. They'll most often fall into one of the categories we discussed. I am never going to graduate. Falls into the category of catastrophizing. Step three, replace. In the third column, respond to each distorted AT. Talk back. Get those negative thoughts off your chest. And if it's hard to do that, try to imagine what you'd say to a friend who is struggling with their own AT and say it to yourself. When you're responding to those ATs, ask yourself some questions like, what's the evidence for this response? Is this a believable outcome for my situation? Will the world end if I get a C on this midterm? Of course not. So as time goes on, and you're more used to responding to your ATs instead of letting them take over your life, you should be able to replace those ugly negative thoughts with more rational ones. Let's recap. To keep your automatic thoughts from ruining your mood and running rampant, you're going to record upsetting events, rationalize them by addressing each irrational thought, and replacing the irrational automatic thought with a rational one. The world is not going to end. Tweet us at WatchWellCast, email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.